it sounds like Lee and I, like, you know, we're very um, uh, taken by our studies. And, it, you know, we had formal um, learning in philosophy and theology. Whereas for you, um, while we, you know, we shared what we were reading, um, I thought it was interesting when you said, when you were listening to Jordan Peterson, you saw how uh, that related in your own life in raising your family or starting a business. Mm -hmm. And so there was that sense of, like, we were coming at it from this rational, um, almost like immaterial sense, but you were, like, embodying, right, right what uh, what Peterson was kind of talking about. Mm -hmm. And so, like, both of those ways are, like, both valid, mm -hmm. and they both lead you to the same place. Um, yeah. But like you said, like, you don't even have to necessarily be aware of the philosophical rationality mm -hmm. behind what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're embodying it, um, that's that's as much as a valid way towards um, transcendence, if you want to put it that way, you know, mm -hmm. towards God, um, as learning about theology and philosophy. Um, yeah. So. yeah. You know, earlier you said um, something about you're coming at it from a lived perspective. And um, I, since getting engaged, many of my married friends who have children have talked to me about their children, or mm -hmm. I should say, um, as a warning. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, get out now. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, you know, uh, particularly the men, you know, the fathers. Mm -hmm. And they've all said the same thing. And they've all used this one word, which is something is activated in you as a man when you see your child. Mm -hmm. And that's the same language, actually, that Jung uses about archetypes. Archetypes are activated in your psyche. Mm. So I know that because I've read you, <laughs> you know, right. like, you know, I, and I, I know that because as Jonathan was saying, you know, from a rational, a rational perspective, but you know, this experientially, you mm -hmm. know, like mm -hmm. whether or not you had the language for yep. it or whatever, but you felt the archetype of father of the eternal father activated right. within you. Yep. So that's a type yeah. of knowledge, you mm -hmm. know, to, to experience yeah. that. Whereas, yeah. you know, like I said, I only know it because, right. Cause you told me yeah. in the book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, right. Yeah. yeah. I think those, that's a really important distinction. The idea of that, like rational knowledge versus like that intuition, mm -hmm. um, like you need both. Um, but that intuition, I feel like, is like really lost nowadays, um, and everything is like uh, it has to be this top-down view, um, as opposed to you know even the way a woman has an intuition about something, mm -hmm. and you can take that as a kind a kind of like lived wisdom. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you know obviously then there's the male counterpart that like adds logos to that intuition, and then that's when you have that unity. Yeah. But um, yeah, that that, in, that intuitive life. Uh, really fits in again like the how do you live an intuitive life is like under a christian framework mm -hmm. like yeah. that's what christianity posits is a solution to live both rationally and intuitively and right. it, it actually like it, it melds together perfectly yeah i was just talking i was just talking to a, a seminarian friend a couple of days ago and we were talking about uh nihilism we were talking about um having faith kind of the the two extremes <laughs> and he was we were talking. We, we were talking about how we can logically convince somebody out of a nihilistic worldview, mm. and I said, I said, I don't know if it's that easy to just logically say this is what's right, and then someone says okay, and they're yeah. all automatically converted, right? You can take logic to its um, lo it, to its end, and you still have to make a choice. Like there's still a um, kind of like a a leap of faith, as mm -hmm. it were, you know, to use the cliche. Uh, because ultimately the Christian worldview is a relationship with a person. And I think that's a good analogy. Um, well, not just an analogy, that's what it is. <laughs> but a good analogy to that is a relationship with any person, right? And so uh, a man and a wife, you can learn as much as there is about her, but then you, there comes a point where you have to take the leap of faith and say, I'm going to trust you now.